Good morning. It is, I mean, it's 8.06 Tuesday, February the 16th. I'm just getting up. Y'all don't mind my baby dreads. I need to get my hair retwisted. Don't, don't judge me. Judge them all. We know. Um, <laughs> but I'm actually kind of rushing a little bit to get ready. Um, today is my IOE. Um, but I'll tell y'all more when I like get fully dressed. I'm still in pajamas. So I'll tell y'all more when I'm fully dressed and get back on here looking cute. Per. Hey, Quam. Sorry, y'all. I'm driving um, to the airport. It's like 9.17. I definitely was trying to leave at like 9. 9.05 or so um but i should still be okay it only takes about 18 20 minutes to get there um sorry like in the beginning um yeah it was a lot going on in the beginning like first of all the freaking like power people came to the door at like i don't know eight o'clock and was like yeah we're turning off the power and i'm like okay like so i had to like hurry up and get dressed y'all like i'm really pissed off because i really like i didn't want my breakfast burrito thing so i'm hungry i need to get i need to eat something hopefully something's open at the airport that i can get to and get something to eat because i am literally starving i cannot be doing all this extra hard work and not have no food but yeah y'all um getting ready for my ioe if you don't know what ioe is it's basically your um initial operating experience so like your quote-unquote training flights right after um graduation um sorry y'all i hope my camera don't fall because y'all know it's real ghetto around on these some of these streets all these speed bumps um but yeah y'all i got my contacts in let's let's hope and pray that they work okay um for this trip oh see the ghetto like i said y'all i'm sorry this is a lot but, um, yeah, I'm only going to be gone. Um, technically, it's a three-day trip, but I'm, we're supposed to, we're just doing a turn, so a there and back. We're supposed to be going to Cincinnati and then come right back to Charlotte. Um, but I live here, so I can just go home. <laughs> and then tomorrow, we have, we go, um, like, three places, and I overnight in D.C., and then Thursday, I come back. Um, home from DC and then I'm off for a few days so yeah y'all um I like my uniform I definitely got it tailored and things like that I will be doing a try on haul of my uniforms but this one you know y'all know I just got back from training on Saturday so I really and I had to like go get my one thing at least one thing altered because I wouldn't have anything to wear um but I'm still gonna do the try on haul for y'all um so keep on the lookout for that but just one of my dresses the one i have on now is altered already i had to try that on because i needed something to wear like y'all they only gave me a couple days and it's like oh i owe so yeah y'all um i'm okay like i'm not uh, i guess like i'm kind of sort of nervous but not like brutally nervous like oh my god you know it's just learning the new procedures you know what i'm saying and then it's like it makes the pressure a little bit more because people are watching you and it's like everybody knows you're new i i don't know i don't know about y'all but i hate that i hate that new feeling where everybody's like staring at you <laughs> so yeah y'all um let me get on to this airport and um i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to vlog to be honest because you know it's iowa you gotta be on your you know you uh, gotta you know cross your t's and dot your eyes so you know i want to make sure i'm doing everything correctly um, but if I'm able to record something, I will. But I just want to update y'all on what I was doing. So, yeah, y'all. I guess I will see you in whatever the next clip will, clip will be. <laughs> Bye. All right, y'all. On the plane, about to have lunch. And get back to it. I observed this flight. I'm going to actually work the second one. So, hope y'all can hear me. <sighs> Tired, y'all. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Well, I hope y'all can hear me. Um, so, I am sitting at my gate, waiting to go. Um, this is day two of IOE. Um, today we go from Charlotte to Charleston. We sit in Charleston for like 
almost four hours, y'all. I wish there was a crew room there because I would gladly go to sleep. Uh, yes, then we go from Charleston back to Charlotte and then we go to Charlotte to DC. I've never been to DC, so it's pretty exciting. Um, I don't know what time we get. I think we get in at like six or something like that. Maybe four. I can't remember. We get in at some time. But the layover is like 17 hours, so. Um, I brought my laptop with me, so I'll probably like do some um, do some vlogging. Well, not vlogging. Edit some some of my vlogs, probably. And sleep. Like, yeah, y'all. I don't know. I wish I could like go out more, but yeah, I'm just trying to get all this IOE stuff done so then I in the future I can like go out and explore and stuff. But I think we kinda get out kind of we get there kinda late a little bit, so then I know tomorrow we just go from which is day three, we just go from DC back to Charlotte. And then I'll be done with IOE. Um so I really couldn't update y'all yesterday. Like, it was a lot going on. Like, it was so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> like I said, me trying to, like, do all this IOE stuff. And, like, it was just a lot. I was kind of rushing a little bit. And ugh, it was just a lot. I'm sorry, y'all. But yesterday, um, it went pretty good. It was only two legs from uh, Charlotte to Cincinnati. Um we were in Cincinnati for like, we had like a two and a half hour sit. Um, I observed my instructor going to Cincinnati and then coming back, I was working in the um, working in the front um, with a little assistance if I needed it, but it was mostly just me working by myself. Um, Y'all, like going to Cincinnati was like so easy, nice, clean, smooth ride. Coming back, and it will be when I have to work. It was so much, y'all. It was people trying to, come on board with like the not approved mask because you can't have like the neck mask on like the ones that go down here um if you do you have to have like a regular mask like this um underneath it or over it so we had some people trying to like argue with us then we had some people trying to argue with us about um because here this here you can't um bring because the smaller planes you can't bring like your roll like big roller boards on board so people were mad about having a plane side check their bags which i don't understand because you when you get off the plane you're gonna get your bag back so it's not like we're sending it to the baggage claim or anything but you know people people grown people act like toddlers at times so you have to speak to them like toddlers unfortunately um but yeah um i did the demo i did some announcements by myself um it was all it was pretty smooth pretty smooth for the most part like i said it's just learning new procedures and new protocols y'all so but yeah um then i I was so tired. Like, y'all see, I got my glasses on today. Y'all, I had my contacts on yesterday, and they were, like, they were cool up until, like, towards the end of the day. Like, I wanted to snatch some things out. Like, my eyes were just, ugh, so tired, and I was tired in general. So, y'all, when I left here, I literally went to get some Captain D's, and it's like, I got some fish and some shrimp, and they messed up my order. Like, they didn't give me no french fries. I was real upset, but whatever. I was so hungry, I didn't even care. I got that. I got home, took off all these clothes, got in the bed, okay? I went to sleep. I went to sleep. It was like I, well, I bid for my March schedule, and then I went to sleep. I went to sleep at like 8 30, 9 o'clock. Then I woke up at like 11 30, got me a little snack, some water, and then laid back down. I had to get up at 5 30. Um, my mom dropped me off today because for some reason, parking here, like it's expensive, and the daily parking deck is like closed. So I had to pay $20 yesterday, like to park an hourly. It was ridiculous. So I'm not doing that no more. So my mom dropped me off, um, and I'll, I went to, I drove to her house, so I'll pick up my car tomorrow morning when we get back to Charlotte. Um, so yeah, y'all, that was the little update. Um, I'll try to get some footage later. If not, then y'all know why. Bye. Hey, y'all. Hey, Cora. Hope y'all can hear me. Um, in Charleston, South Carolina right now. Um, we were bored in like 20 minutes. Um, we literally had like a four hour sit here. So I know I look tired, y'all. I definitely took me a nap in first class. Yeah, y'all. Ready to get this Sunday on way. Next stop, Charlotte. And then last leg to Dallas. See you there.
I literally, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all the backstory in a minute, but I literally just moved rooms. It was the same type of room I had. It was just laid the opposite way, but I'll tell you why I had to move rooms in a minute. But anyway, I want to give y'all a little room tour. Okay, you know, a little closet, nothing too shabby. Okay, a little, you know, whatever type of area. That's the bed, king bed. Ooh, I need the light, y'all. Hold on. Basic toilet. Bathroom. Me. Don't judge me. <laughs> yeah, let's walk around. Me again. Let's walk around. So this is the bed. And that's where it goes from here. Something quaint, cute and quaint, you know. All right, y'all. Today has been a day. <laughs> it's been a day. Um, Y'all are probably like, Tierra, what are you doing? You're supposed to be home in Charlotte because technically you're off. Mm. Well, let's recap from the beginning, shall we? As I shut these blinds because I don't need people looking at me. So, this morning at about nine, about nine o'clock, my instructor, um, Text me and says our flight from um, Dallas to Charlotte got canceled this morning. I said, mm, okay. <laughs> so he's like, we'll figure out. He's I'll figure out what we're what we're gonna do. So they ended up sending a like service to come and pick us up at the hotel and bring us to. Washington DC, uh, the DCA airport, because we were at IAD airport. So the service came and picked us up and everybody, a few people didn't check in for the, basically the dead, because they basically changed our schedule. They, we were just gonna deadhead to um, Charlotte, which uh, if you don't know deadhead, you just, you're not working the flight. You just, you know, you ride. So it was supposed to be the end for me, as you guys know, I was supposed to end. I was only supposed to do that one flight back, but since it got canceled, we were just going to deadhead back. And apparently, um, I wasn't able to check in. They're trying to, you know, instructors trying to figure out why I'm not able to ch get checked in, like what's going on, things of that nature. So, finally, get to the airport. Still not able to check in. So we're, you know, on the phone with crew scheduling. We're calling. We're talking. Trying to figure out why I'm unable to check in for the flight. So come to find out, they're like, oh, well, apparently we can't put her, me, on the flight because it's oversold. And they were like, well, that's not right. Because technically, you should, um, they should bump a revenue passenger off and then I get on. Cause I'm technically working. I'm not like, you know, on a vacation or anything. So they're like, yeah, well, so we can just put, well, there's a flight at 328. Cause this flight that we were going to was at 150. Now it's a flight at 328. Um, we can just put her on that. So I'm like in my head thinking to myself, so they're just going to leave me here. Mind y'all, granted I've been a flight attendant before, but I've never been to this airport. I know nothing about this airport. I know nothing about anything about DC at all. I've never been here. Y'all, so my instructor, the other flight attendant, the captain, the first officer, all them moseyed their little way on, um, got on that flight to Charlotte while I sat back and waited and waited for my flight. I was mad because I was literally starving. Um, there was like nothing open, but like little, you know, those little shops that have like little nasty little sandwiches and drinks and stuff like that so i had to suck like i had to suck it up and order one of those sandwiches that i really only ate half of because it was just not good like y'all i was so hungry so i forced myself to eat like half of that so i'm sitting there waiting and waiting waiting so then you know time is slowly being delayed and delayed because we pulled a board at like i don't know like two something they get on a little, little intercom and they're like now, mind you, this is mainline. This isn't like regional. So this is mainline, um, these, the bigger planes. 
so they're like oh the flight attendants aren't here so we're gonna have to wait you know until they get here to board okay cool five minutes go by 10 minutes go by 20 minutes go by then they're like okay we're gonna delay the flight till 350 originally told you're supposed to leave at 328 then <laughs> i had get a notification on my phone that says your flight has been delayed to february 19th 8 a.m i said oh and i oh i know you lying i know you lying so i'm like oh my god i'm gonna be stuck in dc for the night i'm supposed to be off tomorrow i'm supposed to be home. i'm supposed to be in charlotte like at this moment at that moment so then here comes my instructor messaging me. Mind you, he's in Charlotte now. No comment. Where I should have been, cause I lived there and I was off and they weren't, but okay. Um. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, um, well I got stuck here. He's like, oh, we'll call crew scheduling and have them book you a hotel. And I'm like, all right, cool beans, whatever. So I did. Now, mind y'all, we got there at like, we probably got there at like 1.15. I didn't leave the airport till almost 6 o'clock, y'all. First of all, my mom is pissed. She's like, why would they leave you there? And like anything, I was like, you know, honestly, I've granted, I've, I don't know anything about this, but I've been a flight attendant before. So, you know, it is what it is. But all, all I could kept thinking about was, what if I was new to this industry? What if I was like, some airlines hired 19? What was I some, what if I was some 19 year old, y'all? Literally, 19 year old, don't know nothing about this industry and just <laughs> fresh off of IOE, know nothing and just, just being left at the airport. I would never. I don't care if I did have another trip to go to. I would never leave my student. I'm sorry. That's just me. But, you know, no tea, no shade. Mm. But, yeah, very, very much pissed off. <laughs> so, um, they end up looking for me up at a really nice hotel, actually. It's actually really nice. You know, they're trying to butter me up now since this is running into my off days. Um, they sent a nice little expedition to come get me. And it was so nice, y'all. And then it's a nice hotel. As you can see, I showed you the room. The view looked so much better in like when it was day a little daylight outside. But yeah, I came in, I sanitized everything. Um took got in my pajamas and started watching Grey's Anatomy and ordered some Mexican food and trying to you know, I was on the phone with crew scheduling and in flight, trying to figure out what happened. You know, why did they leave me? And uh, well, that's what they were trying to figure out why they left me because apparently they weren't supposed to. Well, at least my instructor wasn't. But again, T no T no shade. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're just trying to figure out everything. They booked me on another flight for tomorrow at one fifty. So that original flight that I was supposed to be on today, they booked it for tomorrow. Um, because everything is like canceling, y'all. Like it's ridiculous. It's like a winter. It's winter storms out here it's just a mess but hopefully let's hope to god that i get home but they did end up moving my day my days so i got an extra day put on to my schedule um to have off because i'm technically going to be like like they, they're supposed to get me there and back so uh, yeah let's hope i get back tomorrow y'all but yeah y'all um other than this crappy day um well actually no let me tell you why i'm in a new room this is the second room i'm in so y'all know okay a lot of y'all you know oh geez know that i'm very hot natured i carry a fan with me in my um suitcase at all times when i'm going on trips because i get so hot y'all the room i was just in y'all i had the heat on 90 it was still like a freaking igloo in there like y'all i don't know if y'all can see my nose is a little it's slightly still red because it, i was so cold in there so maintenance finally came up and was like, yeah, it's not working. Well, no, duh, Sherlock. So you're like, oh, can you move? And I'm like, I really have no choice. I don't want to sit here and be cold all night. Like, I'm freezing. Like, yeah, I'm cold. So I was like, okay, I'll move, whatever. So they moved me to a, sim a similar room, which is fine. Like I said, I'm just sleeping here, y'all. It ain't nothing special. I'm just going to sleep here. I leave tomorrow. Um, I have a van time, 1230 to get to the airport it takes like it's like nothing to get through security so i'll i'll be there on time they're probably gonna start boarding at like one ooh, probably like 120 130 
something like that. And it takes like 20 minutes to get to the airport. So yeah, I'll be there on time. It's fine. Let's, let's just hope that I can get on the flight at least <sighs> so I can get home. Yeah, I'm so ready to get home. First of all, like, I mean, I packed enough stuff, but definitely not enough to be staying, like, staying and staying and things like that. You know what I'm saying? I know they say, like, you should just for things like this that do that may happen, but, you know, I ain't feel like bringing all that stuff. So, it's fine. Like, so I can wear the pajamas for two nights in a row. I don't care. It don't matter to me. I wear the same uniform for multiple days, so whatever. <laughs> um, But, yeah, y'all. That was just what I wanted to update y'all on my IOE. Um, but yeah, I did pass. Um, I got my wings for the third time. Um, yeah, nothing special. It was pretty simple. Um, like I said, besides all the foolery that happened, like, at the end of my IOE, my instructor was really great, to be honest. He was really nice. He made my nerves, um, at ease. Like, it was just, it was smooth, you know? Um, I, I could ask him anything, like, any type of question and things like that. So... But yeah, like I said, he's still cool. You know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, y'all. Uh, I don't know what I'll be doing next um, as far as trip goes. Because I technically am not going to be back on duty until like the end of next week. <laughs> so I really don't have no videos for you as far as like flight attendant wise. Well, besides the try on haul. I still need to do my try on haul for you guys. Um, I've just been out for IOE so I can't do it. Um, but sometime this week i'm gonna do it for you guys and then oh also i just put my final payment down for my puppy guys for teddy i have not updated you guys like i think i'm gonna make a separate video though because i didn't want to like mix those videos together so i might make a separate video on the process to get him and all the things i've done and had to do and this that and the third but yeah he's coming next week you guys i'm super 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 excited i can't wait for my baby to get here so yeah i just oh y'all y'all don't understand it hurt my little chest to throw out that much money honey Woo! just got paid money gone okay <laughs> but he's worth it he is so cute y'all when y'all see him oh my god i'm definitely gonna record when i go and get, like the process of me when i go get him because he's getting flown into charlotte so i have to go and pick him up at the airport so Definitely going to record that pro process and everything and, you know, his first days at home and all that. So, I'm going to just keep y'all updated. You know, for my son. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm a mom. I'm a mother. Okay? Period. <laughs> y'all know I'm goofy. It's like almost 9 o'clock. Let me shut up. Lay down somewhere and finish watching Grey's Anatomy. <sighs> Talk to my people for a little bit. But, yeah, y'all. Um, I'll continue this IOE vlog into tomorrow until i get home basically so i'll update y'all tomorrow all right good night this is what i wanted to show y'all so yeah it look way better in the morning time i mean it ain't nothing too special but this view is like crazy like a little lake or something pond i don't know but yeah there's dc guys Girl. Oh, yeah. I have some water. Don't mind me. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Um, currently about 12 10. About to go downstairs and see if I can get some of this hotel Starbucks because they have like a whole Starbucks here. Um, so I'm gonna check that out. And um, oh, my mask coming off. Um, I'm about to go downstairs. I got a 12 30 van. Um, I have a seat on this flight, so let's hope that it doesn't cancel or delay or whatever, because I definitely have a seat on this flight. Um, it's a middle seat, but I mean, hey, at this point, I don't care. Like, I'm just trying to get home. Um, plane leaves at 1.50. Supposed to get in charge, like, around 3.30. Might be a little sooner than that. Hopefully, it is. <sighs> See ya, y'all. I'm ready to go. Maybe find me something to eat and all that and I think I'm actually gonna change out of my uniform when I get there because yeah I'm just over it at this point but yeah so I'll see you when I either get home or somewhere bye hey gua so as you can see I'm back well I'm back in Charlotte I was gonna say I'm home but I'm not home I'm at my mama's house <sighs> I got on the flight y'all um I think I told y'all I was able to move my seat to uh aisle seat instead of the middle seat thank god but i was all the way back in the back of the plane but i don't care 
Yeah, I'm drinking one of my sister's Capri Suns. Mm. Hey. I need this. I didn't took off that uniform. I got on me some regular clothes. Um, I'm waiting for my mama to get here because she, I think she went to work. Like, she don't work from home, but I think she went to like actual work today. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna chill here. I gotta pick up a few, pick up a few things um, from the store, from the well, from the pharmacy. Yeah, I know I need me some insulin because I'm a diabetical. <laughs> so I gotta go get some of that. And yeah, y'all. It was a good flight. Nothing too nothing too shabby, you know. But yeah, this that's this is basically Tippy trying to get in the uh, Tippy wanna be in the vlog, y'all. Y'all don't if y'all don't know that's my sister. My little sister. Um But yeah, y'all. Um that's it for this vlog. Basically my IOE, you know, all, that's all it's over with. So that's the end of this vlog, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Okay, it's $3.99, period. And I will see you in the next video.